Hello everyone. So today I'm back with the uh, org mode and uh, I wanted to make this video for a for, for a for a long time and uh, today I thought I'll just uh, show you my Emacs configuration file, my Emacs init file. Now the topic of this video is uh, org agenda files. Now when you start using org mode you have the option to configure your uh, org uh, agenda file. So basically there is a variable um, and that variable is called as uh, uh, org agenda files. Now the thing is that you can set this variable, you know, this particular variable to have your org files read uh, from one specific uh, uh, one specific uh, directory that can work because usually people have just just one directory and that is also the case for me but i wanted to specify the org uh, files uh, manually and uh, i wanted to specify these files uh, so that i can uh, um, configure and fine tune my agenda because I don't really want all the files in a specific directory. I want specific files, not all of them. And that is what I have done here uh, in my custom configuration of Emacs. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically using two variables. Uh, the first variable, or I should say the second variable is basically this one, org agenda core files. This is not really uh, a standard variable. This is my own variable, which I'm using. And uh, the purpose of this org agenda core files variable is to have uh, five or six files Usually I don't use all of them. I have maybe few of them that I use on a regular basis. But basically here I can con control that I want five or six or three or two, whatever number of files I want to have in my org agenda. Now the second thing that I also do, that I recently started doing actually, um, although all my planning goes into one file, um, I mean most of my, my to-do items or major, or I, I should say 90% or 80% of my to-do items go into one specific file which is uh, uh, which is mentioned here like uh, in this particular variable now what i also do is i have a, a directory called my files and this particular directory is basically where i have uh, all of my files that i work on and uh, i also started including all the org files that i have anywhere inside this uh, directory called my files now the reason is that i if i'm let's say working on something where i'm maybe making a proposal or creating uh, maybe an invoice or maybe if i am uh, writing a book or creating a presentation i try to use org mode as much as as much as i can and i try to do it using those org files because they are nothing but text files it is so convenient to manage text files because uh, you can version control them uh, you also have the ability to search them directly if you want to and and you can they're they not really heavy i mean they're not not heavy at all so the thing is that i started using uh, this additional variable called or agenda other files so this particular variable is something that uh, now contains all the org files in my my files directory so what this will do this particular uh, uh, directory files recursively this particular uh, um, I guess method I, I don't know list too much but I guess this will look for all the org files in a specific directory but it will not limit itself to the parent folder it will actually go deep so anywhere in my in my directory my files I have I can have subdirectories or subdirectories within subdirectories so it will search recursively for all those org files and finally what I'm doing is I am basically con like appending these two variables together so this particular uh, org agenda other files will return maybe um, 5, 10, 100 uh, not really 100 but yeah 15, 20 org files uh, right now I mean I'll probably worry about how to manage them later on but yes so right now I have like a lot of them but uh, that list and this list will then be merged together and uh, then I'm basically setting this this merged or appended list to this uh, org agenda file so 
whenever I whenever I start my Emacs, my org agenda files will contain files from these two different locations, or basically basically these two different variables. And I thought I'll probably share this with all, with all of you because this is quite useful. And in case you want to do something similar, then now you know how to do it. And that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much.